Hello, my name is Guillermo Babe and I am an investment manager with 4IP's Impact Infrastructure Fund. I am delighted to be here today to share our views about the infrastructure landscape in the emerging markets where we specialize, our investment and valuation process, and the reasons why we believe there is a opportunity for investors and private equity firms like ours to generate attractive financial financial returns while creating positive impact through infrastructure, an asset class that is well suited to deliver direct and indirect impacts over the communities where the assets are located over the long run. And this is particularly true for the healthcare, renewable energy and sustainable transport industries that we focus on. But before getting started, let me give you a brief overview of who we are. At 4IP Group, we collectively spent over 25 years advising both the private and public sector around the structuring private-public partnerships in emerging markets in a financially sustainable way and oriented towards the United Na Na towards advancing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Our investment team has over 20 years of experience in investing and transactions, and for all these reasons, I am very excited about the team that we're putting together. We believe that investing with the objective of generating a financial return, a positive financial return while creating positive impact is not only possible, it's the future of investing. In fact, the studies have shown that incorporating ESG criteria into the investing process helps investors make better decisions and outperform their peers. And this is a two-way street because we firmly believe that delivering and achieving a rate, a market rate of return on investment is essential to delivering and creating sustainable impact over the long term. And this is particularly important as we consider that there is a large gap between infrastructure needs and actual commitments globally, even in developed countries, but even more so in emerging markets where we specialize. We think there is a general generational opportunity to generate attractive financial returns and create positive impact along the way, particularly as considering that the offer for infrastructure funds with an impact dimension has not much the demand yet. So how do we do this? A uh, very important part of it, it starts with the investment and valuation process. And in this infrastructure space, which is characterized by the illiquidity of assets, the heavy investment needs in the short term and the long term horizon, Trying to value assets using comparable companies or comparable transactions is a challenging task at best. So how do we address this challenge? We start by developing a solid and detailed understanding about multiple aspects, including the business case, the business model, the regulation or the pricing scheme. And we do not limit ourselves to obtaining ESG, rating or ESG ratings on all our portfolio companies, but we really embrace ESG assessment as it helps us understand the companies, its stakeholders, and the economic modes they can create. We also use the theory of change framework to manage impact in an unstructured way. Essentially, these framework allow us to track and measure our progress and success in our invest in impact investing activities. But let me illustrate this with an actual example. We are recently evaluating an investment opportunity that aims to develop a solar plant that would power a desalination plant in Cape Verde to provide water for farming. Historically, in Cape Verde, the unpredictability of rain showers has prevented farming at the scale that the company that the country needs. This has caused instability in food prices and migration from for farmers uh, from rural to urban areas. So we couldn't, when we learned about this, this problem, we couldn't help but share the founder's objective to bring stability to food prices and help farmers get out of the poverty trap. So we started analyzing in detail the project and the project's adherence to the, to the standard for sustainable and resilient infrastructure developed by Global Infrastructure Basel. Once we have confidence that the project would improve the socio-economic and environmental circumstances of the communities where the asset is located. We took the analysis to the next level by entering into a more in-depth analysis 
and independent pr pr performing independent research and discuss and discussing with management to answer questions such as how does the company generate revenue who are the customers and its main shareholders what is the level of regulatory support or what needs to go wrong for the asset to not provide the expected rates of return and this was a very good opportunity to continue enhancing our confidence that the project would uh, develop or provide a good impact, a positive impact for the communities where the asset is located. As a, as a last state, a stage, we used all this knowledge to assess the main risk areas and existence of risk mitigation strategies and perform sensitivity analysis on the most critical underlying assumptions to de develop evaluation range. I hope that this brief summary has allowed you to better understand our investment and valuation process and I hope to be able to discuss in further details some of these topics with you. Thank you.